Ever wonder how those massive ancient pyramids were built? Well, you're in luck, since there's a lot more to it than just stacking blocks on top of each other. In this helpful video, we'll show you how those creative Egyptians constructed their awe-inspiring monuments. From sourcing the materials to moving the massive blocks into place, we'll cover everything you need to know. Stay tuned to the video as the end process will surely blow your mind. The creation of the pyramids is one of history's most ancient and unsolved mysteries. Throughout history, numerous historians and scientists have pondered and contemplated the same question, how were the pyramids built? Over 100 Egyptian pyramids, including the Great Pyramids of Giza, are regarded the greatest works of human engineering and construction. These structures are still standing after over 4,500 years and remain a mystery to this day. Some ancient Egyptian writings discovered can help us comprehend how the creation of such pyramids came about. These massive limestone or mud brick constructions are the world's oldest known man-made structures. First, let's take a look at who built these mysterious pyramids. The pyramids of Egypt are an archaeological wonder, soaring high above the desert sands, invisible for miles. Building these pyramids was clearly a massive undertaking, so who were the people that succeeded? Many hypotheses exist concerning who built Egypt's pyramids, including massive teams of enslaved Jewish people and far-fetched concepts like occupants of the lost city of Atlantis or even aliens. However, none of these hypotheses are supported by evidence. The pyramids could not have been erected by Jewish slaves since no archaeological remains directly related to the Jewish people have been discovered in Egypt dating back to 4,500 years ago when the Giza pyramids were built. However, the tale in the Hebrew Bible concerning Jews becoming slaves in Egypt mentions a city called Ramses. Still, there is no archaeological evidence for the lost city of Atlantis that has ever been discovered in any historical period, and many experts believe the myth is fictitious. Aliens, on the other hand, are out of this world. According to Egyptologists, all evidence indicates that the pyramids were built by the ancient Egyptians. However, scholars are currently examining how the pyramid builders lived, how they were paid, and how they were treated. Egypt features around 100 ancient pyramids, but the most notable are the First Step Pyramid and the First Real Pyramid, both erected during the reign of Pharaoh Djoser. Egyptologists formally assumed that the pyramid builders were mostly seasonal agricultural laborers who had reached a period in the year when there was little agricultural work to be done. It remains to be seen, however, whether this is accurate. The papyri describing the pyramid's history are still being read and examined, but the results show that Murrah's group did considerably more than just assist with pyramid construction. These laborers appear to have traveled maybe as far as the Sinai Desert, doing different construction projects and jobs allotted to them. This begs the question of whether they were a more permanent professional force or a bunch of seasonal agricultural laborers who would return to their fields. The remains of employees buried near the pyramids demonstrate that the workers had healed bones that were properly set, indicating they had access to medical treatment at the time. The pyramid builders' good food, along with evidence for medical treatment and receiving textiles as payment, has led Egyptologists to widely accept that the laborers were not enslaved. Now, it's time to take a deep look at how the pyramids were constructed. For many years, historians and scientists have been perplexed by the procedures utilized in the construction of the Egyptian pyramids. Many contentious explanations about the pyramids' construction have been proposed. The prevalent opinion holds that the massive stones were chiseled from the quarry with copper chisels. These blocks were then hauled and raised into place. However, the procedure for moving and positioning these stones is highly contested. To build the pyramids flawlessly, the workers relied on a unique technique that included three crucial steps, selecting the ideal building location, site preparation, and lifting the blocks. Phase 1 – Locating the Ideal Construction Location the first stage in constructing a pyramid was to choose a suitable location. Given that the ancient Egyptians thought that wherever the sun sank was the doorway to the hereafter, this had been on the west bank of the Nile. The pyramids also had to be built on high land, away from the dangers of flooding during the Nile's inundation. However, it could not be too far from the Nile bank since the river would be utilized to carry blocks of good grade limestone from Tura on the opposite side of the Nile for the outer casing. The chosen location would be on a desert plateau with a sturdy rock base capable of holding tremendous weight of the pyramid without fear of breaking, given that some of the largest pyramids weigh approximately 2.5 tons. 
The location of each pyramid was chosen based on its proximity to the respective king's home, as the king would need to inspect the growth of his burial chamber on a regular basis. Then comes Phase 2, Site Preparation. No designs for the pyramid's construction were ever discovered, yet the pyramid's construction was not random, and the measurements employed were quite exact. The workmen had to start by removing the loose sand from the rock in order to lay a solid foundation. The rock base has to thereafter be completely flat. Workers may have accomplished this by erecting low mud walls around the base and carving channels in a grid pattern over the surface. They would next fill the canals with water and indicate the level at which the water would reach. After the water had receded, any jutting rock would have been cut down to the designated level and any depressions would have been filled with stones to create a completely level surface. Each pyramid side required to face one of the cardinal points. The builders most likely started with True North and figured out the other directions from there. They may have discovered True North by observing a certain star in the northern sky. They would then watch the star rise and set and chart its presence and departure on an artificial horizon. They may get a north-south line by bisecting the resulting angle. They had devices for drawing right angles, thus they might have determined east and west. The base has to be exactly squared next. All four sides are the same length and the corners are at perfect right angles. Then comes the last phase, raising the blocks. To save time, a rocky outcrop was sometimes employed as the pyramid's core. The interior rooms and corridors would have been created separately, with the physical pyramid erected around them. Some of the royal pyramid builders appear to have altered their minds regarding the burial chamber's intended site. The interior pyramid would subsequently be constructed of desert plateau limestone. When the main construction was completed, the pyramid was finished by encasing it with blocks of carefully cut and processed Tura limestone. Lower courses were occasionally made of granite. The stones used in the construction of the pyramids were not little bricks. The pyramid's bricks vary in size. The largest, though, may be located in the king's room. These stones are different from typical limestone blocks since they are composed of granite. The ramp would have been erected as the pyramid rose in size, allowing workers to progress to the next level. The biggest issue with this is that the ramp would have ultimately grown to be as large as the pyramid itself, reaching an incredible distance into the desert. There is no evidence of such a building at any of the other pyramid locations. Another theory is that the ramp went around the pyramid and was removed once the pyramid was constructed. The methods of construction are still widely contested and remain one of the biggest mysteries of ancient human culture. Well, that's how pyramids were built. It's an amazing feat of engineering, and it's no wonder that they've been standing for thousands of years. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.